Well, happy new year, everyone. I am excited to be back in 2023 with a new episode of Inside High Tech, what it is and why it matters. Our topic today is around ISVs and their digital transformation journey to software as a service, as we know as SaaS. And I am thrilled to be joined here today by Lawrence Wong, Senior Vice President, Product and Strategy and Chief Strategy Officer at Veritas. I've had the pleasure of knowing Lawrence for a number of years, and he is a proven technology leader with decades of entrepreneurial and operational experience. And before joining Veritas, Lawrence served as managing director at Accenture. He also held leadership roles at McKinsey HP, as well as several startups. So Lawrence, super excited to have you here. Thank you, Katie. Very excited to be here. From our company's perspective, from Microsoft's own experience, we know that digital transformation to a SaaS business model is a significant undertaking that just touches every business function in an organization. So what I'd love to spend some time talking to you about today is really the journey Veritas has been on and hear directly from your perspective, the experience you've had at Veritas and, and the ongoing digital transformation to a SaaS model and what that's been like. Absolutely, Katie. So as I said, delighted to be here. Very um, excited to share uh, our journey with everybody. Um, maybe to start off, um, I wanted to provide a very brief introduction for everyone on Veritas. So Veritas is an at-scale data management software company focused on the enterprise. So we have a very long history and heritage of providing data protection, resiliency, and compliance solutions um, to the largest global enterprises. Uh, we have over 80,000 customers. We serve 95% of the Fortune 100, and our top 10 customers have an average tenure of 30 years or more with us. So with that as the backdrop, um, we've been, uh, as you said, on a growth transformation journey since being spun out of Symantec several years ago. Um, we're about a year into our final phase of our growth transformation uh, plan, what our CEO, Greg Hughes, calls our reborn in the cloud strategy of modernizing our software business. Yeah, yeah, love it. Just been so impressed with the journey that Veritas has been on and the progress that you guys have made and just love the iterative approach on the different phases of your transformation journey. So maybe just take a moment and tell us a little bit more about how you're approaching modernization and transforming uh, while you're performing, which is always a challenge for sure. It, it is it is a it is a daunting exercise. We, we always talk about this <laughs> as, you know, changing out the engines on the plane uh, while it's flying, right? Exactly, um, exactly. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy to share more. I, I mean, for us, you know, our core mission is to support our customers as they navigate what we what we are calling, and I think the, the press and everybody else is probably calling the largest technology platform shift in our generation by disrupting ourselves and transforming our own business to a SaaS first recurring revenue company focused on helping our customers protect and control their most prized asset data across any environment on premise and any cloud. <clears throat> in our approach and our focus on doing that for us is to build on our strengths, um, which is about modernizing to extend into the future while we ensure that we link both worlds together so you don't end up with islands, right? So for example, um, we've rebuilt and re-engineered our core data protection product with what we call cloud scale technology, refactoring our code and replatforming. So now you can run as a native Kubernetes service to take advantage of what all that provides in terms of elasticity, as well as integrating into your DevOps shop. And for cloud scale, um, as we call it, is now the underlying technology that underpins our entire data protection platform. Um, so it's one platform consumed your way, whether it's self-managed software on an appliance form factor in your data center, software running natively in the cloud, or soon as a service, which we're gonna be launching with Azure first. Um, it will be a seamless environment across all of these um, as it's a single platform and it's not a collection of different architectural approaches. And it's all brought together with a single pane of glass management console so you can manage your entire data state across both the on and off-premise cloud environments. And then finally, 
we've also recently launched a new brand, Alta, to bring recognition to the innovations that we're driving. And we did this as we learned that we had not only we not only had to transform our product, but we also had to build new brand equity with our customers and the market to extend beyond our on-premise capabilities. Yeah, wow, what a huge undertaking. You know, it's not just a lift and shift, but really sort of taking advantage of the cloud native services as you think about this next generation of your solution that you're delivering to the customer. And so this focus on building and extending strengths um, to the product and the platform into the future. So very impressive. So I want to shift a little. How, how is this reflected across the different business functions within Veritas? You talked a lot about the product, but would love to better understand from a business functions perspective. Oh, well, sure, Katie. I mean, beyond product modernization, um, you know, having a cloud first or SaaS first approach means that we need to transform every aspect of our business from how we're perceived, as we talked about with the brand, to how our customers engage with us, how they want to consume our product, where they want to buy, their expectations of end-to-end -end customer experience, et cetera, et cetera, right? All of these things are dramatically different uh, from being a traditional perpetual software license and maintenance uh, provider. Um, so we we truly have to rethink and rewire our company differently to be successful. Um, and we're in the middle of this journey right now, um, and we're looking forward to navigating this together uh, and learning from your experiences. As we understand, Microsoft very recently went through a similar transformation journey as you two were, you know, quote unquote, reborn in the cloud. Absolutely. And you could not have said it more accurately. You know, Microsoft has certainly been on a very, very similar uh, path. And so we can fully appreciate and understand what it takes to rebuild a business. I would love to shift gears a little and talk about business processes from enterprise reporting to tracking customer consumption. And even as we think about revamping customer success in an as service world, because it's different. So tell us a little bit about Veritas's experience from this context. No, actually, that's a great question, Katie, um, and honestly, one that we're working on and working through as we speak, which means rethinking the processes, the underlying systems that capture, analyze, and serve up all the data that we need to account for the new business model, but at the same time, also considering our existing businesses and how those are going to transition over time. So, for example, we launched our subscription transformation earlier this year, um, and that actually required us to rewire our financial reporting constructs and dashboards to focus on recurring revenue that we had to plumb from top to bottom. So that's mm -hmm. from how we report out to our investors down to how an individual field rep is actually measured against their compensation model. And we had to do that and reconfigure a set of underlying systems that were built, frankly, for a different business model in a different era uh, in unwind years of tech debt. And I would say, you know, at least at this juncture, we've been successful in putting some workarounds in, but there's much more work to be done. And we all recognize that it is an area that could be a real potential bottleneck to our growth. Yeah. Um, so we know this is a significant body of work, um, not one that we want to underestimate in terms of focus. Um, because I think for us, when we when you when we think about going on transformation, we 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 all naturally gravitate to and think about products, which is obviously very important. But I'd say equally as important as um, as we're living through it now is the underlying data state modernization and support systems that we need to invest in equally in terms of both time and attention to be able to, you know, as I like to say, drop ropes to the ground and have that material impact, right? Um, and frankly, we're very excited to partner with Microsoft in this area as well. Um, you know, for us, we recognize the significance of this, and we've established a cloud transformation office where a part of this office's remit is to tackle all of the big boulders around enablement of our business. Yeah, maybe we can just spend a little bit of time there and, and talk about you know how are you leveraging the technology and the go-to-market partnership we have between our two companies to really think about driving growth, not only growth, but share, especially as we think about the current economic headwinds um, and the challenges that we currently face. Yeah, well, well, Katie, I think for us, we very much fully embrace the need 
to transform to be relevant to our customers and what I shared earlier as you know the biggest platform shift or shift of our generation. And it's obvious to me that you can't do this without a strong ecosystem of partners, both from a technology and a go to market perspective. Um, and as a key partner, I would say that we've felt a very strong connection with Microsoft that's evolved over the last several years. Um, what started off as a technical partnership focused on developer tools now has matured into one where we've selected Azure as a core platform for which we, for which to build out our new SaaS based offerings. And moreover, we see the Azure marketplace as a new route to market for us to reach customers and cloud buyers. And we're excited to be working with you now as a co-sell partner as well, where we're collaborating with your sales teams to jointly build demand, share sales leads, and accelerate impact to our joint customers. Well, we're excited to have you as a partner as well. And so listen, Lawrence, I can't believe we're out of time. This has been great. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me about Veritas and this incredible transformation journey you have been on. So for everyone else, stay tuned for more discussions as we uncover the latest and greatest on everything high tech. 